Hi guys, and we are back with another Black Sea Empire challenge. The challenge where we try and make a line around the whole of the Black Sea. We're about a quarter of the way there now, which is pretty, pretty good. We are today going to be trying to fill out the bottom bit of Thrace. That might require us taking some lands that are not actually bordering the Black Sea, but I don't think that's going to be an issue uh, nonetheless. And we're also going to try and try uh, and connect our lands up here. So a nice little line all the way through the north as well. But without further ado, let's get into the video. Well, here we are next turn, guys. And this army is going to be going straight for the Asti. They do have that fort there. I want to just check that they've not got any armies, you know, in our way. So, yeah, we're going to go for Bizia up here. Um, get that down. And let's have a look. Byzantium look pretty strong. That is going to be a nice little enemy to take on. We'll take them out on this side, and then we've got that decision to make, whether we do actually come across the straits and get onto, uh, get onto the other side. At the moment, I'm thinking no, but uh, yeah, <laughs> I, don't, I don't exactly know. We've got our juicy horse archers in this army too, led by Nicaretos, the glorious playwright. He'll have a lot of plays to write after this. Let's keep on going with a few garrison troops as well, because... We need to make sure we can back up our expansion. Um, who else do we want in this army? What have we got? Okay, we, I think we've got enough cavalry probably now. So let's go for some more infantry just to back us up. And the reason why I do want to take these regions is because I believe a few of them, at least maybe this one that's Scythian, this one as well, might be able to, rec uh, to recruit horse archers from. At level 1 recruitment and level 1 stables, guys. So, that is pretty powerful. And, yeah, horse archers are going to be a major thing for us when we get towards the Scythians and all that sort of thing. So, in terms of the rest, let's just use the rest of our money to keep on recruiting. Maybe some more Prodromoi in there. I know we're spending all of our money on troops. But, uh, yeah, <laughs> that's what we have to do, guys. In this position, that's what we've got to do. So, let's get this army going. Let's go straight. We have no movement. But we will go straight for Aegisos, who is Ionian, apparently. But as you can see from the uh, units in here, they're all Dacian units. So, I think that's just been, um, you know, made Ionian by the neighboring settlements rather than anything else. So, here we are at Bizia, guys, the capital of the Asti. Let's go. Um, because it's a Thracian settlement, I think it's going to be a lot easier than if it was a Greek one, for example, where it's a lot harder to get them off the town square. There's a lot of mo room to manoeuvre. Well, here we go, guys. Gates down. They kind of have their whole army on this side, which is quite good for us. The walls aren't yet down. They're just about to fall, which is going to be good. So we're basically going to be able to uh, engage them on both sides. Oh, unfortunately, though, the Thracian slingers have uh, decided to attack in here. I'm hoping one of these units decides to run away because otherwise it's going to be a bit of a uh, a grind fest so let's see let's see what these uh 304 i do they are run 54 i over there as well let's just speed this up see what happens okay these guys have decided to come off the square so what we're going to do we're going to send you guys through no 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 nope. you're going to get in there my friends you guys are going to engage these guys and we're going to bring you into here as well let's see what we can do here you guys should be on fire at will. And there we go. We should be able to uh, surround these boys pretty nicely. Looks like they're just going to fight it out of the gate. That's not good for us. Because that takes away all our advantage of uh, maneuvering around. So yeah, definitely not a good situation for us to be in. But I think we're still going to be able to uh, to win here. So let's see. Let's hope this 304 Roy comes this way. And then we can uh, get in behind them. Well, here we go, guys. We've managed to get in behind these two units. So this is just going to be a bit of chaos, I think, for a little while. We're actually going to send you all the way around that way. And we're also going to try and send the cavalry into here. Which way are they going to go? Okay, they're going to go the right way. Good. And now we have sort of a, a bit of a two-pronged attack. They do have Thracian royal bodyguards that are triple gold. Uh, triple gold um, experience. Now they're down to two gold experience. I guess losing troops... They're losing a bit of that experience, but that's okay. <laughs> so, yeah, there's no, there's the other royal bodyguard. That's why it's taking us so long to, to bust through this. Hopefully, um, we'll be able to break these guys. The Runfire Fulroy, though, are going to be very, very useful against our guys. So, uh, 
Yeah, if we can uh, get all the way around this way, that'd be amazing. Let's see if we can get there. You're going to go the right way. Good. Keep on going, my friends. Keep on going. I think we're in a good position. Well, we've now got our cavalry around the flanks. And there goes their uh, main unit at the gate, the Thracian Slingers. So I want you guys, guys, get in. Get, just get in. Just get in. Just as far in as you can. And then we'll decide what to do with you. Because I think we're going to surround these royal bodyguards. Let's go. So you guys, I want you there. Surround this royal bodyguard. Let's go and attack them. And we've got our cavalry here as well. Let's go for those Thracian archers too. And then all we're doing is just holding these guys at the town square. We've got a light lancer up here, which I think we can get rid of pretty darn quickly. So, uh, yeah, let's make sure we can kill these archers, though, uh, before they get back to the town square. These guys are a little bit tired. Actually, you know, we've... There we go. There goes their king. Hopefully, this doesn't make them all into rebels, because... Although, is this their only settlement? I don't actually know. <laughs> they might have another one. So, yeah, we've just got to be careful here. Let's kill these light lancers now, then. There we go. Should be really easy. And then we'll just take the town square and see what we want to do well there we go guys we killed the thracian light lancers really easy really easy battle nice we lost 244 which isn't amazing but in the end we didn't really take too many losses one uh, of the hoplites down to 69 nice uh, but apart from that pretty good battle let's go uh, we're not going to delete the uh, the buildings in here just yet because they're quite good and it is thracian and it would be nice to have some thracian units further down the line if we get to that point so let's keep on going had a few things built so tiresis got that that's also a thracian one which is pretty good actually because level two we can get ronfire foroi and they will be good for this side so the the ronfire foroi will be good for this side and maybe the bosporans these units less so because they're not going to be as heavily armored but there we go and we also got a load of units that turn two so we'll uh, combine those up in a second first things first though let's go for Celembria. should be very easy so let's go well there we go guys i didn't think it was worth um recording that because didn't really need to 29 29 casualties uh, we took 250 so yeah not really worth recording but pretty easy pretty easy in the end and that should be the asti dead unless they have byzantium or something like that which i don't think they do so um the line is taking shape on the western side of the empire guys well there we go Celembria is ours i think we'll just occupy Celembria because uh yeah it's only a town so that's fine and it is greek so we're gonna delete these recruitment buildings we don't need them down here if there's anywhere that's gonna be a recruitment hub it's going to be probably Byzantium, but that is the Asti dead, I'm assuming. Yeah, there we go. Very nice. Very nice indeed, my friends. Very nice indeed. Let's get the land clearance in there. Maybe this is the settlement that'll have a single garrison troop. Come on. Let's see what you've got. 83. Come on. The single Thracian Peltas patrolling the streets, my friends. Patrolling the streets. Are there any mercenaries available? No. Well, what I'm thinking, let's do... They, they, remember, Byzantium had a pretty big army, didn't they? So, let's just try and take out Byzantium first. Then we might have to come back for Perinthos afterwards. But there we go. War with Byzantium. And I'm going to get all the troops together. And then we'll go for Aegisos. Well then, guys. Let's go for Aegisos. I did recruit a spy last, last turn as well. So, that's allowed us to see around here. And you can see that's a pretty big uh, Byzantine army. So... I quite would like them to take Byzanthe, though. That's going to cost them a few troops while we can maybe get a few reinforcements um, as well. I mean, we have a pretty similar-sized army, honestly, and it would just be nice to take Byzantium because that is one of their main recruitment hubs. Uh, and, yeah, we've got these uh, these little sort of uh, um, pockets of troops ready to join our armies going forward. So let's get into Aegisos. I'm going to aim to try and use the horse archers as much as is possible in a town. So uh, let's go, guys. Well, instantly we are able to fire at them across the walls, guys. The Getic Noble Cavalry are going to be a very, very good uh, thing to uh, attack because they are quite a good unit. You can see the amount of missiles going into them. They've only lost two men, four men so far. So yeah, quite a strong unit. 
Getic heavy infantry as well. I'm not too keen on fighting those boys. The rest of them, though... Oh, the Falksmen. They will be a good one to actually fire at because they have no armor. And they're very, very strong. Oh, they've got some uh, they've got some archers themselves that can fire over the walls. Let's see if we can fire at those uh, Falksmen for the time being. How many can we kill? Let's see. Come on, boys. Okay, that's a lot of men killed by the Javis and the Arrows there. So, um... Yeah, let's uh, move slightly further forward and see what we can do there. Maybe we can maybe reach the Getic Archers, that sort of thing. Nice. So a good start. A good start. We've pushed them away from the walls. So before we've even entered the city, guys, we've killed a quarter of their troops, which <laughs> and I've got to say that's pretty nice. Uh, let's uh, let's enjoy that for the time being. Let's see what we can do against these Getic uh, Falksmen again. Let's see. Can they? many of them actually fire? at them i doubt it i doubt it no many not many missiles coming in a single one then mate oh a lot will come in now though there we'll there we go there we go let's kill the falksman kill them very nice well here we go through the walls guys let's go smash it into them get into that getic heavy infantry I'm gonna try and surround those boys if we can you guys go 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 try and block off the gate quick quick men quick go there we go so, yeah, blocking off the gate there. Actually, we'll want to come this way for most of these troops. We're going to try and push these guys forward. And we're going to try and get our horse archers in if we can. So, we are going to be able to get our horse archers in, which is a good uh, good thing for us. Behind our hoplites, of course, which, of course, is very good. You guys need to get into these Getic Heavy Infantry. That should allow us now to fire back on the Royal Bodyguards. And then I think we'll just try and snipe. The rest of their cavalry, which is the rest of their army. Oh my god, look at that. There they go. Let's kill those Getic Light Infantry. In fact, we'll use the uh, cav for that. And uh, we'll bring forward these boys up here to protect the men. Come on, men. Let's go. Let's go. I don't want to get my horse archers killed by their general. That's the only, the only thing here. So hopefully we can um, maybe... Okay, there they go. They're coming. They're coming. Okay, did they manage? Yes, they managed to get past the hoplites, but... I, my God, they're absolutely screwed. They're absolutely screwed. There's not much left of them. Very good, very good. And there goes the Getic Heavy Infantry. So, yeah, there's really not much left uh, in this fight now. Well, here we go, guys. We're now in the uh, center, firing on them. And here comes the uh, Noble Cavalry. We've got our guys behind them firing at them as well. And probably bring my general all the way through. I mean, the rest of the troops we don't really need um, at the moment. These guys are up this side too. These guys are a bit stuck. Come on, boy, men. You can do it. You can path right. You can path right. There we go. Right, let's kill these uh, noble cavalry if we can. Looks like they're going to charge us as well. So, uh, yeah, let's uh, try and get them before they actually get to us. There we go. We've blocked them off. Everyone attack them they've broken instantly oh dear well i think we just charge in the middle then i don't think this <laughs> they're just gonna keep breaking like that i think we just go straight in the middle and get rid of those noble cav well there we go they all broke pretty much instantly so a bit of a failure from them they only killed 45 men in that whole thing a bit of friendly fire going on but not too much the horse archers even in that siege battle were invaluable obviously mainly because of the openness of the settlement in a greek settlement completely different but for these settlements absolutely perfect let's go and i think because we want to grow Aegisos, let's just occupy it also is ionian at the moment um i was wondering too are there any mercenary horse archers available here as well because it is getic territory no there's uh, thracian hippocontistae though but ideally we need okay you can actually get in there so let's get you in there they're not too happy <laughs> let's just say that they're not too happy at all but let's just have a look at the at this okay that's getting slingers what happens when we get to level two okay we can get dacian horse archers at level two what else does it need though they need second tier stable so it is going to be a little while before we even get there for them i'm even considering getting a ruby on because although it says it's thracian let's have a look what what okay it's getic again so it's just been converted to thracian by nearby 
settlement. Can anyone else move a bit further? You can, actually. So let's just make sure they're happy and not um, rebelling too much. But yeah, good, good turn. Good turn, my friends. Let's go. Well, on to the next siege, guys, in the north. So uh, let's have a go at this one. Very similar army. So again, I don't think it's going to be too problematic. And again, we're going to use our uh, horse archers to the best of our abilities and just destroy them before we even enter the city, which worked very well last time, let's say. And there we go, instantly just firing on them constantly again. <laughs> very nice. I do love this. Horse archers, I absolutely love. Although, if you've seen my RDAI campaign recently, guys, <laughs> we had a bit of a bit of an angry moment with them but apart from that generally i love them <laughs> and once again we've just pushed them away from the gates pretty easily with our archers and all that sort of thing so we are going to come into the city once again let's see what we can do um and yeah we're going to come in and uh, see what problems we can arise for the enemy here comes the heavy infantry they're going to be a bit harder this time because we're not actually going to surround them and once we're in again, we will use the horse archers to the best of our ability. Well, here we go. We're fighting the Falksmen now, which is not ideal because the Falksmen are very good. And we're also fighting those uh, Getic Noble Cavalry, which again, are quite good. So let's just get those guys in there as well. So this might be a little bit more difficult than the previous battle. But if we can get these horse archers in, I think we'll be okay. We'll also get probably overwhelming numbers on the enemy, which is a morale shock for them and let's get our cavalry around that side well there goes the noble cavalry they actually died relatively easily so look how much the falksmen though are cutting a path through our hoplites here so let's see if we can uh, fully surround them and let's block the way with those guys so our horse archers can continue firing they're wavering now so yeah they might get a bit of a charge off here so we've got to be careful let's see whether we can uh, engage them there we go. And then the heavy infantry over here, how are they doing? They are losing. So that is very good for us. Everyone now onto the general. And then we'll do the same thing that we did last time, surrounding them and firing upon them. Well, here we go again, guys. We are pretty much surrounding them uh, on this flank. All they've got left is some light infantry and some cavalry. So honestly, I don't think we need to skirmish with them too long. Let's just get in there with our boys. And I think we'll be, uh, we'll be pretty good. I mean... There's not much for them uh, Them left, really, is there? <laughs> Unfortunately for them. Where's our general? Let's get him into the fight as well. See if he can do some damage. Let's rally him so he's just a little bit behind the rest of the units. And there we go. Maybe into the uh, noble cavalry there would be a good option for them. And yeah, this should be really, really easy now. Like these these uh, skirmish you have, though, are a bit annoying because they're so spread out. Our troops don't really know how to uh, to fight them properly. Well, there we go. The light infantry is back off the square. I think they're going to break instantly. Come on, guys. Go, 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 go. I need you to just move a little bit faster, please. Just get in the way. Come on. There we go. There we go. Now, the rest of you, I know you're struggling to path. Like, look at that. What is that pathing, man? But there we go. We should be able to get uh, these skirmisher cavalry deaded pretty quickly. What is... Like, why are you going round that way to attack them, man? Like, what is that? <laughs> oh, dear. But, yeah, it should be an easy victory now, guys. Well, there we go. Glorious victory. Again, another settlement. 182 that time. So, we did lose a lot more. So, it was definitely a bit of a harder battle, even though they had less troops. They just positioned the troops a lot better. But we still got plenty of units ready to go. Let's go. Well, Genucla, let's enslave Genucla this time because... Yeah, they're not very happy. And all I want, really, is for them to be a large town so that we can uh, recruit horse archers. I don't think we will go for a ruby on. We do need to go for this one, though. So, um, yeah, let's go for that. I, do we have any garrison troops left? We do have some in there. So, let's see what we can do. Let's get this garrison troop into there. There we go. Very nice. And let's go straight in for that one which is actually pretty heavily defended is it just a village yeah it's literally just a village as well so it's not going to be very valuable land <laughs> but it is land we want to take nonetheless but anyway let's end the turn there guys and as maybe expected the byzantines have come for the attack honestly with the three zister that they have they do have a lot of missile troops but we're not going to be able to do anything against them with the three Zistaphoroi. 
Oh, I, I think we've got to take the battle, though. We are defending, so we'll just defend and see what we need to do to react to the Zista 4 so let's go. And this, also this guy, Cali Gate on the Glorious. What a name. The Glorious. 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 Let's see if we can gloriously kill him. Let's go. Well, I don't actually remember where that second army's coming in from. If it was my guess, it'd be there. But unfortunately, like, the battle we took, we were at the bottom of a hill. Actually, we should be able to see the settlement. Where be the settlement? Is it this side? Is that it down there? I swear we should be able to see it, seeing as we are sieging it down. I guess not. I guess not. Unless I'm just blind. But uh, anyway, let's see where they do come in from. And it was that left-hand corner. So, yeah. Our army looks so small compared to theirs. I'm not going to lie. But remember, a lot of that is missile troops. Well, here comes their progemoy. That's quite annoying. I'm going to see if maybe we can uh, trap them. Let's see if we can trap them. That'd be good. Uh, we're not going to win in the missile fight versus them now. They're just running away. They're just running away. Okay, that's fine. As long as they stay away, I don't mind. We can't really trap them, though. That's the problem, unless I can get behind them. And then we might be stuck. So, here we go. Here we go, though. Let's go with that. Oh, they're going for the charge. They're going for the charge. They're not going to win, surely. Well, maybe we, even if we just kill one, that'd be good. You guys go after them. You guys get there. We should be able to absolutely shred them here. But we have lost a lot of cavalry. Just fighting Progemoy. Is it worth it? Mm, I mean, yeah, probably. Prob that was the worst charge I've ever seen, guys. You just stopped before you actually charged. Really? <laughs> well done, guys. <laughs> well done. Well done. Okay, we're managing to catch up to them. those ones now then. Okay, so we've kind of won. Oh, dear. Oh, dear, dear, dear me. Uh, this is all Zista 4, right? So, yeah, <laughs> do that. <laughs> do that, and you guys, let's go. Let's get out of here. Get out of here. Oh, my God. This guy's general's bodyguard is massive. 59 men. <sighs> Ooh, that is painful. That is painful. Well, here come the Zista 4, right? That is, uh, okay, good good that they're engaged, because if we can kill them... I mean, what, is they, what are they doing, man? <laughs> kill them? <laughs> if we can kill them, that'll be absolutely amazing. So, yeah. They, they've disengaged now, though. Which makes sense. Looks like we are just basically getting slowly surrounded, which is good from the AI. It's good to see the AI actually doing some worthwhile maneuvering for once. I wonder whether we can try and engage them. That Zista 4 right now, though. Okay, there goes a Zista 4 right, and here comes their Thurio 4 right. So, there goes another Zista 4 right. Let's get into this fight, then. Here comes their General's Bodyguard. We've got to be careful here. You guys, there. Uh, you two, actually. We'll get you two ready to uh, block them off. Oh, here comes the a Zista 4 right again, and I think we've got to uh, react to that. Otherwise, our units are going to get a little bit screwed. Once we've killed all these guys, though, like, all the rest of this is missile troops. So if we've got enough cav, we should be okay. Um, I'm wondering, though, now whether we can actually engage them. Where's this guy? You guys go there as well. Let's bring you here. And here comes their uh, secondary units. I don't want them to get, get around and flank us, which is what they're trying to do. But this is just a bit of a meat grinder at the moment. Okay, there we go. There we go. Now their general's engaged. So let's see what we can do here. Can we maybe kill their general? Then the rest of this is just an absolute mass of missile troops. So whether we can even kill that all with our with our um, uh, with our cav, I don't know. I actually don't know because <laughs> a lot of that is decent missile troops too. But there goes the general. Well, we're going to try and engage the Epibarti with our uh, with our men at least because I don't want to have to chase them down with the cavalry for now and i think we've got everything under control with our main lines as you can see i think we're doing quite well uh, but there we go there's some greek archers that we've engaged can we maybe engage this secondary group as well come on man the greek archers should be just routing come on please route they are shaken not stirred remember there we go come on boys like, what are you doing? Just kill these fucking idiots. Oh, man, it's so shit not having good cavalry. 
I love cavalry so much. So useful. Oh, here comes the big bodyguard, though. This is this is going to be huge. Can we deal with him or not? I think we're winning kind of the melee engagements. We're kind of winning over here, too. Um, I want you guys to just chase them down for a second. Actually, nah, let's screw that. Let's get into those Greek Peltas. The Epibartai have run. So let's see if we can get that secondary Epibartai here. Here we go. We're fighting Slingers and the Bodyguard. I don't think that's going to be a worry for us. This might be a worry, though, if they keep changing sides. More Zista Foroy. Here we go. We're routing more and more of these boys. So let's keep on going with this. Greek Peltas have come back. Come on, man. Get away. Oh, 304 oh, we will. We don't want to engage them. But yeah, overall, I think we're pretty solid. We've just got to keep on uh, doing what we're doing. Well, here we go then, guys. Things are doing quite well. That general's bodyguard is still around. So in the terms of the main lines, though, we are holding remarkably well. Um, yeah, we're fighting 304 oh, there. Well, here comes another unit. I think it's Zista Foroy. So we want to make sure we break them. Problem is, because we don't have enough cavalry, you can see... All these guys just keep coming back. <laughs> Go away. <laughs> Once you've run, just run, man. Run. Okay, that general is running away now. That's okay. Ooh, we're getting squished here, but it is by not not many uh, important troops, to be fair. So let's just speed this up. We don't really need to uh, keep on being as cautious in this anymore. Well, there we go, guys. Pretty good victory in the end. We killed 1,000, nearly 1,300 what did they kill? About 500. So I think very good victory from us. I wasn't sure we'd be even able to do that. But our Greek hoplites really stood up then. So fair play to the boys. Well done, my tr my friends. Well done, troops. You did a great job. So we that just shows that we need to bolster this army with a bit more cavalry. <laughs> well then, guys, a very profitable end turn, I've got to say. Let's just take out Perinthos. Just because we don't want anyone in the back. That way we did lose a load of men there. I think we'll enslave Perinthos as well to try and make them happy. Do we have anyone else? Oh yeah, we do have our sort of garrison troopers over this way. Let's go with that in there. I don't want to leave behind the single Progermoy. But where's the best place to retrain all of these guys? I've forgotten exactly. Masambria, probably. Or it's probably Odessos. So, yeah, let's go back to Odessos. We'll pick up these boys on the way so we can bolster our army. The Thracians have run away from us, which is good. So, yeah, let's go back to Odessos on this side. And that's kind of this corner squared off now. So, that is really good. And also going to make us a little bit richer. You can see we're making a lot more money now, which is very good. So, we're going to use that money to build more troops, guys. <laughs> Well then, guys, we are going to go onto this village now, our PK Kome, over here. So yeah, it's a pretty. Uh, looks like it's a pretty big garrison. Oh my god, the amount of steppy cav step cav steppy step cavalry they have. It's quite a lot. So I'm hoping we can kill a lot of them with our horse archers again. I mean. Same plan every single time, guys. Same plan. <laughs> so, uh, let's go. Well, here we go, guys. And as you can see, lots and lots of cavalry that they have. So, we're not going to get too far forward or too wide with our infantry. We're going to try and play this nice and coolly. And try and use all of our missiles that we can with our boys. So, uh... Let's get going with this. Maybe we'll use the Progemoy a little bit as well, but not too much. It looks like they're going to charge us themselves, which if they do, is fine. I'm not bothered about that. You guys get behind your support. Come on, men. Let's go. So, yeah, if they're going to come and engage us themselves, I am absolutely happy with that. So, uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's get out. What is this? Archers and Axemen. I mean, I don't think that's going to be any good. You are going to protect against them. You're going to come forward. Looks like the Steppy Cav... Step... Steppy... Stop saying that. The Step Cav is uh, just, like, chilling a little bit. Let's get away from them. There we go. Should have been able to throw a few Javis into them. Horse Archers, let's come forward again. Oh, my God. Instant route for some of these boys. Let's go. 
And uh, let's bring you forward. Then the horse archers will bring you forward as well. So you can fire into the step cab again. So they are actually... So th are they... Are they missile cab? Let's just, let's just work this out. Okay. So they have... Oh, they have javis. Okay. That's, that's interesting. Didn't realize that they had javis. But yeah, they're, they're proving a bit of a tough nut to crack. I think at this point... Best thing to do is just to engage them with our infantry. So, yeah, keep on firing, men. I don't think we're killing many with our Javi boys. So, yeah, probably the best thing to do is just to kill them with the infantry if we can. Here we go. Looks like they're coming for a bit of a scrap. Can we uh, engage them here? Don't want to lose those guys at all. There we go. And let's see if we can engage them there too. See if we can also engage them here with this boy. And the step backsman, we are uh, attacking. There we go. Nice. We should be able to kill them pretty easily, I think, with our uh, with our hoplites. So, interesting battle this one so far. Very interesting for such a small sort of siege, village siege battle. So, let's keep on coming, though. Let's keep on coming. And, uh, yeah, let's keep bringing the uh, cavalry around as well. Well, here we go now, guys. This is a bit of a mess, but uh, it's okay. We're doing all right still. Um, I'm wondering now whether we can get uh, Nicaretos into the action too. I think that's probably a good option. We'll keep bringing our cavalry more and more forward every time to try and catch uh, more and more of these boys. I'm wondering if we just get there, that'd be great. You guys try and engage these step cavalry too. And then what we'll do is we'll get our horse archers in behind to fire at them if needs be. So, uh, yeah, you guys can come around here if you want. And uh, where's our general? What is the size of their general's bodyguard? I don't think it's that big. So, yeah, let's uh, keep on coming. There we go. Like, they can't really do much. That's the thing. They're kind of stuck now. So we can get our, our guys up that way. We can also get these guys in here too. So, yeah, I think we're going to be okay. There goes their armored Sarmatian bodyguard. Ooh, interesting. Not seen these boys ever, I don't think. Have I? I must have done, but they're, they're doing quite a good job against our Greek general's bodyguard. So let's get in there and see what we can do. You guys, just chill. Just chill, just chill. Keep you on guard mode as well. And these guys are just going to keep getting fired at until the end of their days. There we go. How are these boys doing now? Okay, we've killed them there. Good, 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 good. So, yeah, another another firing opportunity for us. Let's uh, see what we can do here. And there we go. Surely we can kill this bodyguard. How good is this bodyguard? Amazing. He is amazing. What is his stats, man? 36, 16 armor. Wow, so much defense on this bodyguard. Let's try and get our bodyguard out there. He might die. And let's try and engage with the hoplites rather than the uh, the horse archer. Okay, he's running. He's running. Okay, that's okay then. That's okay. And again, we'll use our guys here. There he goes. He dies. We'll use our guys here to deal with him. And our general there. And again, they are just piling into us while we fire at them pretty nicely. So these guys, now that we get them out of the way, they should be able to fire pretty well. I'm wondering, is it worth us just trying to breeze through the middle here? Maybe even get this guy around the back and try and surround these boys. I think it might be. There we go. Let's speed this up now, though. We have pretty much killed everything we need to kill. So, uh, yeah, let's go. Time for the grind fest on the square. Should be pretty easy. So, uh, yeah, let's just kill the rest of them. And, yeah, that was a that was a really interesting battle. Sometimes, like, these little siege battles with no walls and stuff can be really fun. Like, a lot more fun than one with walls, anyway. Well, there we go. They did do a decent job. They killed 346 men. Which, yeah, looks like we killed a lot due to friendly fire, though. Oh, my days. That is an insane amount due to friendly fire. Oh, well. <laughs> Oh dear. But anyway, 
a, a good victory, a very good victory, and that just extends our line, boys. Let's go. And uh, with this village, I think because it's just a village, let's just occupy. We do need to, of course, build our own governor's house. Maybe there's something we can destroy in one of these that's not worth it. I mean, I doubt we're ever going to recruit any Getic infantry because it's just not that good. Like, the heavy, even the heavy infantry, yeah, it's about hoplite standard, but it's... Yeah, I'd rather have our hoplites than that. So let's destroy that. That should be enough to build the next one. So let's go with that. Do we have any spare garrison boyos? We do. Are you going to be enough to make them happy? Let's see. Probably not, I would guess. Actually, you are. Good. And we can just go on to the next one. Where is the next one? I guess it's there along with the Greek one. Yeah, this one does actually... Um, cover the coast although we could go for the greeks because they don't have many men in there and that would actually join us up but no i think we'll go for arpis so again it is exactly the same sort of battle so i guess let's go <laughs> i'll probably cut this one out guys because it's going to be exactly the same tactics as last time well it was another brutal battle guys but a uh, pretty glorious in the end, we did win, but we lost 400 men again, guys. Ooh, ooh. <sighs> oh, spicy. It's very spicy against those step horsemen, honestly. It's, um, yeah, it's pretty difficult. And I think, again, let's just occupy Arpis. And I think we'll leave it for now. And we'll see what we can do. Like, can we... I think we'll set, leave the horse archers in here. And the rest of these guys can go back for training. They're actually plenty happy enough with that. So, yeah, you guys are going to go back for your retraining. So, yeah, nice little uh, nice little battle there. And now our line extends quite a way. Let's have a look at our line then. So, here we go. All the way from Byzantium down there. All the way up to Arpia. We've got those two. I don't think taking these Greek settlements will be hard either. And then this one actually extends all the way up there. So we'll have to do that last, I think. But we do need to take Nyos on Karkine. And then we'll basically be the Masters of the West. I mean, we are the Masters of the West pretty much already. Like, we're doing a pretty good job, guys. Doing a pretty good job. Um, really good job, in fact. So, yeah, very good. Well, I think we'll end it there then, guys. So a good little episode. We have expanded our line by four settlements in the north and two settlements down the south of course we've taken a couple of others that aren't on the coast but yeah so six settlements expanded on so if we take away maybe two three from that so we're on 26 out of about 70 i think it is so yeah pretty good episode i've got to say if you do enjoy this video guys make sure you do like and subscribe. It really does help the channel out. And I'll see you all again on the next video.